Hey dudes, it's Whitney and Chloe here and welcome back to the Doodle Dudes channel. If you have a doodle, you know exactly how irresistibly adorable they are. <laughs> and even though you may want to keep that face oh so fluffy and teddy bear-like forever, unfortunately doodle haircuts are a necessity. Now, most doodles don't shed much, but that also means that their hair can grow out way longer than the average dog's. In any case, if you're going to be getting your doodle groomed soon, this video is going to be a really good resource on some different hairstyles you can get for your doodle. Let's get into it! like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more doodle content. So in this video, we're going to show you the different styles of haircuts that you can get on your doodle. But first, I want to point out something that a lot of doodle owners don't take very seriously, especially when they first get their puppy. Now, most of us will have this experience of picking up our doodle from the groomer in total shock. And that's typically because our doodle was basically shaved down without our consent. So most of the time when this happens, the groomer claims that the doodle had really bad matting and the only practical way to get it off was to shave him down. As doodle owners, we definitely should take their word for it um, because a lot of groomers follow a rule that is called humanity over vanity and most groomers will not spend over 15 minutes trying to demat a dog. So the next step is to shave him down so that you can basically have a fresh start. So as doodle parents, we really need to be extra mindful about the nature of our doodle's hair. And that is to say that if it is not maintained properly, then it will mat up and cause a lot of pain and discomfort. To avoid matting, if you aren't familiar with line brushing, I definitely suggest that you watch our video tutorial on how to properly line brush. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's go over some common doodle haircuts and styles. Now, even though many doodle owners say that they never want their doodle to be poodled, the fact is that most doodles are genetically 50% or more poodle. Typically, poodles are groomed so that they have a clean shaven face, clean feet, and a top knot. Now, we will go over some of these terms in our next video, which is part two of this series, so stay tuned. But let's talk about many different styles of trims for a poodle. Now, you might be wondering why I'm so obsessed with poodle haircuts right now, and it's not that I'm obsessed with poodle haircuts, but it's because a lot of the poodle styles can actually carry over to doodles, and doodles can pull them off actually really well as well. Now, just as a note, different groomers and different salons have different ideas of what the following types of haircuts are and what they look like by default. That said, it's best to show your groomer a picture of exactly what you want done on your doodle so that you can avoid any shock and misunderstandings. All right, let's finally get into it. So the first hairstyle we'll talk about here is the doodle puppy cut, AKA teddy bear cut. This is a standard trimmed style that looks great on any fluffy dog, including doodles. A puppy cut is when the coat is clipped with a longer blade or a longer clipper guard to create a fluffy look. Most often, a puppy cut is when a dog is cut to an even length all over the body, and that includes the head, ears, and tail. However, these areas can all be styled differently on request. Just a note, there is no standard length that determines what a puppy cut is, so it's really up to you to communicate with your groomer on how short or long that you want your doodle's hair to be left. Let's go over some super cute examples of a puppy cut.
Next we have the kennel cut, aka the doodle summer cut. Many people refer to the kennel cut loosely as a term to mean an all-over shave down. With a kennel cut, the hair is all around clipped really short. It definitely tends to take away the signature look of a doodle, but here are some benefits of the kennel cut that you may not have thought of before. First, it makes for a really great cut in the summer or hot weather in general to help keep your doodle really cool and comfortable. Second, it's really nice for people who may not have the time or patience to upkeep their doodle's hair. Third, it's really good for active doodles because your doodle is less likely to collect things in his hair, like dirt and bugs and leaves and foxtails and everything else. And fourth, it can really accentuate a doodle's beautiful physique. So with a kennel cut, the body is kept really short, but you can do variations on the head and face and tail just like the puppy cut. Let's look at a few examples. younger years, she would get puppy cuts quite often, but now that she's older, she almost exclusively gets kennel cuts, and I do it myself, and it's super easy, so it just works for us. All right, now let's look at the next hairstyle, which is the lamb cut. A lamb cut is when the body is cut at a longer length. The legs are also left long, and the groomer will then fluff everything up to make him look super fluffy. Here are some examples of a lamb cut. Alright, moving on to the next style, which is the doodle poodle cut, also known as they poodled my doodle cut. To a lot of doodle owners' dismay, the poodle cut is actually one of the most common cuts that doodles get. Now, although there are many varieties of the poodle cut, it typically involves clipping down the body very short, a clean face, clean feet, and a top knot. Here's an example of that. Let's move on to the doodle lion cut, which is kind of fun. The lion cut is most often seen on Pomeranians, but it doesn't mean that doodles can't look good with them either. As you can imagine, the lion cut is basically meant to make the dog resemble a lion. This is done by shaving the hair on the back end of the body as short as possible, while leaving the front half of the body as long as possible to resemble a lion's mane. It also typically entails leaving pom palms just above the feet and on the tip of the tail. Here are some examples of a lion cut on doodles. Next we have the doodle mohawk cut. So a mohawk used to be Chloe's trademark, and we would dye it different colors with Kool-Aid, and it just looked so cool. And so this is actually one of my favorites, but you know, it's eccentric. We'll just put it at that. But this cut really is perfect for a doodle who has some personality and maybe some free-spiritedness that you want to showcase to the whole world. A mohawk cut basically entails a kennel cut on the entire body except for a strip of hair starting at the top of their head and going down maybe a quarter or a third of their body. Here are some examples of a mohawk cut. Finally, the GI cut. The GI cut is basically when every inch of a dog's body gets shaven down completely. Many doodles experience this cut at least once in their life due to bad matting. Here's an example of a GI cut on a dog who was extremely matted and pelted. I can't emphasize enough, but if you haven't seen our tutorial on proper line brushing, I seriously encourage you to check that out right now. 
So those were the different types of dual haircuts, but I just want to note that sometimes a groomer or a salon will have a different definition of what each of these styles are. So basically just be sure to bring in pictures and talk to your groomer directly about what exactly you want done to avoid any miscommunications and shock at pickup. Now if you want to see some additional pictures of doodle haircuts, be sure to check out the link in our description below to the page that has all of these pictures so you can bookmark the page and save the pictures and bring them into your groomer whenever you want. So which of these doodle haircuts were your favorite and have you tried any of them on your doodle? Be sure to join in the discussion by leaving a comment below. Finally, this is going to be part one of a two-part series on doodle haircuts. So stay tuned for part two next week, which will showcase different variations of the head, face, legs, feet, and tail. Whether you've been with us from the beginning or you're brand new around here, thanks for sticking with us. Create a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe for more doodle content. Later, dudes.